Hey guys, this is Tide signing in. I figured I'd do something a bit different from I from what I usually share with you guys, and in this video, I'm just gonna simply show you guys a new face mask sheet that I came across here in South Korea. Uh, so, I I bought a couple uh, face masks the other day, and one of them in particular, I really was excited to to show you guys. Um, so I'll save that for last. So. As you know, face mask sheets are pretty big here in South Korea, and I think they're growing in popularity uh, back home in the States, where I'm from, or wherever you guys are at, and maybe not so much with, with men, but uh, I, think, I think the notion of, uh, of uh, proper skincare, or just decent skincare, is actually growing and trending, um, even where you're from. So I'm gonna share with you guys uh, these face mask sheets that I purchased. Um, so here they are. Now this one right here is a tea tree mask. Uh, I usually get tea tree masks or a green tea based face mask sheet uh, when whenever I have uh, breakouts. Um, this one especially is really good. Uh, tea mask, it's really good for the skin um, and very soothing. By the way, just just to cover the basics in case you're not aware what a face mask sheet is. Um, it's just uh, like a sheet, a really thin sheet that's been dipped in um, like skincare product. Um, and it's really good for your face. Uh, usually they're done like once a week or once every few days. Um, but there are some, and I'll show you right now, there are some that are good and that are uh, marketed as daily daily use uh, face mask sheets. So that's this is one that I, I, I've been using for a while now. Uh, the brand is Dewey Tree. Not sure why I did a name brand drop. <laughs> it's not a promotional video or anything. Uh, but uh, this is a, a daily mask sheet. It comes in this this uh, tin and um, you open it. Uh, well, first let me show you what it looks like right there. I hope my new camera focuses, maybe. Oh, there we go. All right. I can see it in the viewfinder. Um, so you open it up and then it's got these little tweezers. I think they're called tweezers. They're plastic. And then you, uh, you reach in there and then you, you can see in there, it smells really nice. Um, and inside you would reach for a daily mask, um, a daily face mask sheet. So that is that. Oh, I forgot to put this in. <laughs> okay. And, uh, here are the ones that I bought. So I already showed you the tea tree one. Uh, this one, let's see. So all of these are, are uh, this, uh, one of the same brand. It's called I'm Sorry For My Skin. I've never uh, used this brand. Um, actually, I'm, I'm not even super big on uh, like, you know, these skincare products, but every now and then I will buy it if I remember to. And I just thought it'd be something nice to share with you guys, with my viewers. Um, so this brand, this this brand is called "I'm Sorry for My Skin." Uh, I'm glad that uh, they they have it in English, because you know, being in South Korea, it's it's not super hard, but it's just not common to see. It's not commonplace to find things that are being marketed in English. So the first one I thought was really cool. Uh, it really stood out to me. Um, this one is a calendula. Um, it's a flower. It's a calendula-based uh, face mask. And if you look closely here, let me, let me go to the back, revert to the back side. I'm not sure if it will show for you because there's a glare on my viewfinder from my, my light up above. But if you look really closely, there's little bits of the petals. There's, there's actual petals from the calendula flower in there. So I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, I'm not super flowery, but I thought it was pretty cool um, to try that out. Uh, and then... This one I really liked. This one is a mugwort mask. Is it focus? Uh, is it focusing? Okay. This one's a mugwort mask. I'm gonna show you the back side of it. Um, not sure what mugwort, what benefits mugwort has for your skin, but it's got to have benefits. Otherwise, they wouldn't be um, marketing it. If you, uh, when I saw it, at least I'm, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but when I when I look at it, what appealed to me was it. It just looked like it's different from all the face mask sheets, like oh, like 90% of the ones I see are like white. But this one is like brown, it's like a light brown, so it really stood out to me. And there's little specks in it. Um, I'm not sure what it is, I guess that's the mugwort. 
but uh, growing up as a kid, going to primary school, going to going to school as a kid, um, you know, in the bathrooms they'd have these cheap recycled paper towels in the bathrooms, at least in the boys' bathrooms. I'm not sure about the girls' bathrooms, which were probably way better uh, supplied than the boys' bathrooms, but growing up in San Diego, California, in the boys' bathrooms, we had these recycled paper towels that were brown and they were very coarse and not really soft, and I had to grow up using those. Um, uh, so this really reminded me of that. It's like a paper, it's like a brown paper, brown paper lunch bag um, kind of texture. At least that's what it looks like to me. Um, so that's that. The other brand uh, is, uh, these two really stood out to me. So this one looks like cigarette smoke. So you wouldn't think they'd, they'd be marketing these um, with, uh, you know, with a, a photo of cigarette smoke. And you know, you might like, look, just seeing this first, you might say, hey, that's, that's, that's what makes you think it's cigarette smoke? Um, it's probably like incense, you know? But coming right up, I'll show you what made me instantly think this was being, this is cigarette smoke. Right next to this, they had this one. And look, they're the same, again, they're the same brand. It's, I'm sorry for my skin, that's actually funny. Um, but it's a beer. That's a beer. That's amazing. Like, these two definitely, they're, they're marketing to men, to younger men, or whatever, just men in general. They're marketing to them. Because look, this has to be cigarette smoke. If, if, if it's being, if it's on display right next to this one with a beer, there's no way this is incense. You know, the smoke from an incense stick or whatever. <laughs> That's a beer. So I thought it'd be really cool. I mean, originally I wanted to, and I forgot to do so, so I'm just doing this. But originally I wanted to do like a a, a Twitch stream and I'd, you know, put this, I'd slap this on my face, this face mask, face mask sheet, and I'd have a beer, even though I don't really drink beer anymore. Uh, but... That's what I originally wanted to do. Um, now, if you look at the back, they'll have all the uh, the instructions. Um, of course, it's in Korean. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but look at I, I, what I want to show you is the picture. The pictures they actually show you like drawn pictures of how to put on a face mask sheet, which I think is funny. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna. I'm gonna wash my face first, um, and I'm gonna try this out. So, we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, Tides is back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to wash my face before I put on that, uh, that mask that I showed you. So before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put on this headband. Wait. Okay, we're gonna put this on. Bear with me here. Okay, headband on. We're gonna go ahead and wash my face. I thought it'd be cool for you guys to hear the uh, running water. Get some ambiance going on in here. Okay, I'm just using a uh, very tepid water. You know what? I forgot to grab the face mask. I left it back in my in my room. Okay, I'm gonna use my cleansing foam. Let's do another brand name drop. This one's called, can you see that? It's called Manology. This was given, uh, this was gifted to me by, by one of my uh, students' parents. All right. I know it sounds. Shut that off. I know it sounds like I slapped my face. It wasn't really that bad. Get under the cheekbones. 
Okay, I think that's good enough. Around the ears. I'm gonna use a separate towel for my face, my face towel. Okay, so I forgot to uh, forgot to get my face mask sheet. So I'll go ahead and do that now, just because I want to show you what it looks like. I want to open it up for you. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, here it is. I'm sorry for my skin. <laughs> okay, we're gonna open that up. Easy tear. So when you pull it out, it really does feel like jelly. Again, it's called a jelly revitalizing mask. Whoa, oh my god, I wonder if it... Why is it brownish yellow like beer is? Can you guys see that? It's like a brownish yellow color, just like beer. Or golden, amber, yellow, whatever. Doesn't smell like beer, thankfully. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna unfold this thing, and we're gonna set it on my face. So usually with these, uh face masks that you do every few days or once a week um, they recommend you keep it on your face for like 15 to 20 minutes I'll usually do 15 alright so that's what it looks like when you unravel it look at that it looks like that horror movie of uh, a serial killer um, I think it was Hannibal yeah where Hannibal was, Lecter was helping them, helping, helping the detectives find that one serial killer. I forget his name, but it looks like that. It's so funny. All right, and it's got a little flap. Um, you don't see it, but there's a little flap for your nose. It goes down over your nose. Um, you don't see it right now. You just see a hole, but it's this flap right here. All right, I'm going to look into the mirror and put it on my face. Actually, I can look into the viewfinder. Hold on, let me kind of stoop down. I'm gonna use my viewfinder as a mirror. <laughs> oh, this feels great. It's nice and cool. It's like putting an ice pack on my face but not quite freezing. Oh, it is actually cold. This is good because in Korea right now it's super humid and rainy. There's not even any sunshine. Alright, put the little nose flap on. Okay, I'm going to need to use a real mirror for this. Because it's on the underside. I forgot. Okay, this is being really difficult. Here, let's try this. There we go. So, thankfully, it's not a face mask sheet that's been drenched in beer though they did kind of market it like that and I for a second I thought it did have it because of the color I'm not used to having a like a amber yellow colored face mask sheet but that's what it looks like let's get down here all right <laughs> cover my stash so that's what it's like usually I'll uh Set a timer for 15 minutes. Actually, I wonder if Siri can hear me from here. Let's try. Hold on. 
Hey Siri, set a timer for 15 minutes. Your timer is set for 15 minutes. You're awesome, Siri. Wow, usually I don't get a face mask sheet that's too big for my face. Usually. This one's kind of big. It's rather, it's rather big. But uh, I'm going to wash this gunk off my hands. It's clean gunk, don't worry. Slimy. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to lift my camera up now that my hands are dry. Wait, let's dry them off a little bit more. Okay, sorry for the instability, but there, there you have it. So, bleh, I'm going to leave that on for 15 minutes, and then I'll show you what I do afterwards. Peace. All right, hey everyone, Tide's back. Uh, we're going to go ahead and peel this face mask off. See if you can notice a difference. Probably not. Probably not under the bathroom light, but there that is. Um, zoom in on my face here. Uh, so, look, I just want to show you how much juice is still left in this. So, uh, I actually waited the 15 minutes, waited for my timer, and then now look how much juice is still left in this. I'm going to squeeze over the bathroom sink. <laughs> it's coming out in plops. <laughs> there we go. I wonder if you guys can see that. But yeah, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll squeeze that, that excess out, and then I'll toss it into the, uh, the garbo bin. We don't have one in my bathroom because the bathrooms in Korea are uh, wet bathrooms. Not sure you know, if you know what that is, but basically the entire bathroom gets wet uh, in the shower. So the, this, the shower head is actually above the sink. There's a little button or, uh, that you press um, on the sink itself to swap it between the use of the tap and the, sh the actual shower. It's really confusing, I had to get used to it. Not really confusing, it's just really strange. So uh, we don't have to wash this excess off my face. Or we don't have to wash the jelly whatever off my face. I'm just rinsing it out of the sink. Wash my hands here. I didn't want to wet my camera. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so usually, oh, let's drop my towel. Usually, uh, what I'll do after usually is uh, I'll open the the packaging that had the face mask sheet in it, and then I will pour out any excess. So let's come in closer to the camera. Let's see if there's any excess. I think it's too thick. It's not gonna come out, so I'll just reach inside. I think there is some in there. The excess. But usually I'll take the excess. Yeah, we got a lot. It feels like really light syrup. So any excess I get, I'll just kind of lather it a little bit and then I'll gently pat my face and then usually I'll wait another I don't know another four or five minutes for it to dry off and I'll show you the very last step let me just walk up here Alright, I'll see you guys in another three or four minutes. And we're back, hey guys. So, we finished the mask, 
And now what I do next is I am going to get, um, usually I do this before, so forgive me. Actually, after I washed my face, uh, I was supposed to put on toner. I believe that's how it goes. I was supposed to put on toner and then the mask because um, it's supposed to go on before the mask because the mask, uh, the jelly on the mask is a, is a lot thicker and this is really thin. It's really watery based. So this was supposed to be first, but oh well, I'm going to do it now so I can show you. Uh, so we're going to get a little cotton, uh, cotton puff. And this was actually, this is lab series. This was a gifted to me. I swear all my students' mothers, all they ever gift me is, uh, skincare products, especially really expensive ones. So yeah, dab a little bit on there. And then what I do is just gently spread that over my face. Again, I was supposed to do this before the mask, but we want all bases covered, so that was really quick. Usually I'll get my neck last under the under the chin and then the back of the neck. Alright, so after that, um, final, st uh, final step is to just apply moisturizer. Easy as that. Get a little lather in there. Aha! <laughs> Home alone. And that's it. It's easy as that. And uh, so that's usually the final thing I do in my evening um, before going to bed. But I'm actually gonna get back, hop on into my video game, computer game. Maybe I'll stream, I'm not sure yet how I'm feeling, but I feel great. My face feels great because of that face mask sheet process. But that's it. Uh, thank you guys for staying here the whole time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I do hope to see you in the next one. This is Tides, signing off.